sex workers who have fallen in love with a client, what happened? I was going through a stressful time in my life and things weren't working out the way I had hoped. I was single and was always making time for other people and never felt like I was getting what I wanted in life. I knew nothing about sex workers at the time, and had never seen one before. I did some research for about a month or so and came across this girl's ad. She seemed legit and from what I could see in her pictures, rather attractive. I booked her and was beyond nervous scared leading up to the appointment. When the day came I went over and the cutest girl ever opened the door and welcomed me in. We talked about ourselves pretty much the entire night. I had only intended for this to be a one-time deal since it's so expensive. But, I decided to see her a few more times. I noticed she started letting me overstay my appointment time more each visit and I started getting suspicious. I didn't know if this was normal, or if she was into me. I liked her a lot, but I figured this was her job and she probably just wanted to keep me, a steady income, around. She started doing other favors like making me dinner and my mind started going crazy and had to know what was going on. So I confessed that I liked her and hoped that was okay, and asked her to clarify what she had been doing, and what it meant. Turns out she totally had feelings for me. We decided to date and now we're getting married. When I was in Amsterdam I did a red light tour, and the tour guide told us how when he was young and inexperienced he shopped around the windows for a while, found the beautiful woman he'd ever seen, and kept coming back until he worked up his nerve. Eventually he went in, stayed in there talking to her until about 4 in the morning, then she took him back to her place, that was 9 years before he told us the story and they'd been together since then. She still worked as a sex worker and he was so open about everything, it was really interesting to get such an outlook from a tour guide. My fiancé is a stripper at a bikini bar. I used to frequent her club because my friend's sister was a bartender there and would hook me up on my bar tab. I met my fiancé and got to know her pretty well over the next two and a half years, then one night we were both there for my friends, the bartender, birthday and got pretty drunk. She told me she had a crush on me and then later said she wanted to go home with me, which she did. A year to the day after that I asked her to marry me, and I've been in the best relationship of my life for almost four years. God, this was years ago when I was 21 but it brings back a lot of emotions even now. One of my regulars was a disabled gentleman in his 50s. He had broken his spine in an industrial accident and was paralyzed from the chest down. He'd gotten a large settlement and invested in property including his beautiful accessible cabin on the lake. He'd pay for me to spend weekends with him there as well as trips to the coast and the casino where he would give me money to play slots or see a show while he played cards. He was kind and funny and had a comforting nature. I had bad experiences with men, but his disability made him vulnerable and open in a way that moved me and put me at ease. I even learned some of his care routines so I could be with him for longer periods. He died when he developed a clot in his leg that broke free and got into his lungs. I didn't find out until two weeks afterward. His passing really shook me. I thought I had distance. I didn't realize how much I cared for him until he was gone. Related only, but one of my friends with unlimited business expenses was hosting an NYC clients from London. That night ended up at a strip club across the street from my home and $1,000 in lap dance tickets, $20 each, in the middle of the table. I tried one, not my thing, so I pocketed three of the tickets as souvenirs. A year later, my nephew was visiting me as he turned 21, so I gave him the three tickets and sent him to the strip club. He did not return, but called at 8 a.m. I'm making breakfast over at Dawn's place, they went out for a few months. A friend of mine's sister and her friend were slash our sex workers. They both fell in love with the same customer. The bloke was a bikey and I'm pretty sure they loved the free drugs he gave them, not him. They had a huge blowout over this guy and basically didn't take long before they stopped communicating. They both confessed their love for him and he cut ties with both because he wanted to spend more time with his wife. I worked as a stripper and fell in love with the manager. I saw girls always fawning over him leaving some tips on stage so he would bring them back to the dressing room and they could flirt with him. I assumed it was a phase and tried to ignore my feelings. At the time I was suffering from chronic pain and an eating disorder. He just cared so much and went out of his way to help. We've now been married for 15 years and have three children. Using my throwaway. I was a sugar baby the moment I'd turned 18. Started having sex with a 60-year-old doctor. 
I was poor so the constant showering of gifts, money, dinners, vacations, and clothes, I guess made me fall in love with him. All I would think about was Lonnie and what amazing thing Lonnie had planned for us that day. One day I get a call from Lonnie and he tells me, we can't see each other anymore because he had caught feelings for me. I took this as my opportunity to tell him how I felt and I really thought we would get married. He then told me, I can't be in love with a sex worker, so I have to let you go and move on to another girl I don't have feelings for. I was broken and depressed for a long time. I ended up using some of the money he gave me for therapy and eventually I got over it. Former Sex Worker When I was 18 I began seeing a married man in his early 40s who treated me with respect, genuinely listened and helped me with my school, and we hung out a lot too without having sex. After about 3 months of seeing him almost every day I started to become attached. Then one day I told him that I thought I was in love with him and he told me, I still love my wife. I only keep you around for your head game. I was devastated and never saw him again. I was sort of a sugar baby. He wasn't super wealthy and didn't shower me with luxury. I was freshly 18, he was 40. I met him through a mutual friend who initially thought nothing of it. Eventually we started hooking up in a very dumb slash subway. He got me small gifts he clothes, makeup, jewelry, paid for my tattoos, paid for hotel stays, Disneyland etc. We eventually got to know each other and realized we had a lot in common and got along well. We both knew it was a fantasy that couldn't last. Finally we admitted we had fallen in love. I knew it would never work as he had three kids, the oldest one being my age and the youngest one living with him still. He was also legally married but they were separated. Eventually we parted ways as friends but not a day goes by that I don't miss him or what we had. I had this client who was hot. He's the hottest man I've ever been with. He had medium length long black hair, a jawline that could cut glass, veiny arms like ducking tree trunks and he was comfortable enough in his masculinity to paint his nails black. The moment I met him I had the eyes for him. When we got to doing what he paid for, I was wondering which one of us the client really was. His foreplay was heaven. I was soaking wet before we'd even started and I came from that once, and I actually came a few times during the actual ducking, never had that before. By the time we were done my sheets looked like they'd be rained on and we changed them and I told him to stay. He made me breakfast in the morning and paid despite me insisting he got the night free of charge. He was a regular after that and I started developing feelings for him. He told me he didn't have time to get a girlfriend because he balanced his time looking after his disabled mother and spending time with his friends, and couldn't fit dating in there. If he got horny he would hire an escort, but he'd never been a regular with one like he was for me. Eventually we agreed to go on a date. Then we went on more. Then I stopped my sex work. Then I met his mother. Then we moved in together. Then we talked about getting married and having kids. We had five years together, 2011 to 2016, before he was diagnosed with cancer. I watched him waste away for two years after that until he died. His mother died weeks afterwards. I miss him more than he could have ever known. We were going to spend the rest of our lives together and I loved him so fucking much, and everything got ripped away from us. It's been two years since he died and I've tried to date but it feels wrong and I don't think I'm ever gonna love anyone again. I don't even want to have sex with anyone because even though I was an escort once it became a really sacred I guess thing between me and him. I spend every day wanting him back but I know I'm never going to see him again. I had to travel out of the country to attend my sister's wedding. The best man was my ex-fiance, he dumped me, so I couldn't stand the thought of going alone. So I hired an escort to go with me and pretend to be my boyfriend. But he ended up being the most wonderful man and we fell in love. Worth every penny. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.